Welcome to a video on multiplying integers. This video provides the basic rules and several examples. I do have another video that goes over the explanation of multiplying integers in further detail. When multiplying two integers, if the signs are the same, the product is positive. So a positive times a positive is positive. A negative times a negative is also positive. If the signs are different, then the product is negative. So a positive times a negative is negative, and a negative times a positive is negative. Let's look at some examples. The first one we should already know, five times six is equal to 30, but it does fit the rule of a positive times a positive equals a positive. Here we have negative eight times negative three. Well, a negative times a negative is positive, so here we have positive 24. Here we have negative two times positive nine, and if the signs are different, the product is negative. Or we can also refer to the rule over here that says a negative times a positive is negative. Either way, the result is negative 18. Here we have a positive times a negative. Again, the signs are different, so the product will be negative, or a positive times a negative is equal to a negative. So we have negative 24. Now let's take a look at what happens when we multiply more than two integers together. One way is just to follow these rules working your way from left to right. So here we have positive two times negative five. Well, positive times a negative is negative, so this would be negative 10 times negative six. Well, now we have a negative times a negative, which is positive, so this would be positive 60. Let's go ahead and try another one. Here we have negative one times negative three. Well, negative times a negative is positive, so this would be positive three times negative four times negative six. We'll just keep working our way from left to right. Now we have positive three times negative four. That would be negative 12 times negative six. And then finally, we have a negative times a negative, which will be positive, so we'll have positive 72. Now, when you're multiplying three or more integers, there is a shortcut rule that you can take. This is what it says. The product of an even number of negatives will always be positive, and the product of an odd number of negatives will always be negative. So here we have negative two times negative three times negative five. Notice we have one, two, three negatives being multiplied together, which is an odd number of negatives. Therefore, this product will be negative. Once we determine the sign, we can just multiply two times three times five, which will give us 30. So our product is negative 30. On this last example, notice we have one, two, three, four negatives being multiplied together. Well, four is even, so our product will be positive. And now that we know our answer will be positive, we can just multiply one times five, which is five, times two, which is 10, times three, which would be 30. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching.